Hello and welcome to A Wheel Thing TV, I'm Dave Canol. This week we're checking out the Kia Carnival, this is the Platinum spec with the 3.3 litre V6 petrol engine. She is a big car, the Carnival, at 5.1 metres in length. This is a absolutely beautiful looking car and you can see those chrome wheels really set off along the, uh, the black paint that this car has. The, uh, the car's got a few party tricks as well. Of course there's power things all over the, the vehicle, including said about the tailgate being electric you've also got these uh, fully flat folding seats now to be honest they are a little bit tricky in that you do need to be pulling both the handle and the strap at once in order to get it down to there it's a lovely cabin inside the carnival very easy to read dials very simple looking dash layout push button start of course electric seats that will adjust for you as soon as you hop into the car and press the button little cool box for uh, cool drinks and things like that of course your normal size glove box which holds everything this is really annoying though Kia quite frankly the fact that you can have this and you can drive around the country and not have that go off you actually do physically need to press that button all the time it should go off after a set time maybe 15 seconds 30 seconds something like that in regards to the actual display however pretty simple comes up looking a little bit cartoonish but it does seem to work and you've got uh, no dab which is a downside you've also got no uh, RDS radio data service which again this should be all just part and parcel of a car nowadays Kia in regards to media good range of uh, options including a DVD in the slot up here heating and cooling seats uh, all-round camera views as well and certainly a heated steering wheel believe it or not in cold weather makes a huge difference. Kia Carnival, big car, big heart, big engine, big fuel consumption if you use the 3.3 litre V6. If possible, go for the diesel. Really, it is, in my opinion, the better option engine for this particular kind of car, primarily because if you are lugging a load around, people, cargo, all that kind of thing, the diesel just has that much pull and it is definitely much more economical. When it comes to the actual handling of the car, it's predictable. You can feel a little bit of softness in the ride quality itself. This is the Platinum we're talking about, of course. The other thing is that the steering position is in the front third of the car, because it is such a big vehicle, all that space behind you for your rear seat passengers. And the steering is also just a little bit, uh, I don't know, over-assisted, a little bit too uh, much of, you know, you can use a finger to twirl it, rather than feeling like you're expending a little bit of effort to do something with it. But overall, it's a very competent handling package, a very competent ride package. Just in regards to the engine, unfortunately, the 3.3, you need to give it a rev. Even peak torque is somewhere over 4,000 RPM. And if you do have it loaded up, that's where the diesel really would be the better option. There's four levels to the Kia Carnival, and the Platinum really does give you supreme pizza, garlic bread, Coke, dessert, free delivery, and a back rub once you've had your meal as well. It really is that good a car. Price from uh, around sixty or thousand dollars for the diesel, probably a couple of thousand dollars less for the petrol. It might seem a lot of money, but you do get a hell of a lot of car. Check it out at kia.com.au. For a Will Thing TV, I'm Dave Canole.